Autodesk Inventor 2020.1 continues to improve the way you interact with Inventor with new functionality and improved workflows based on your feedback through the Inventor ideas and the beta community. Starting out in Inventor's part environment, a new addition to the whole command makes it easier to select existing geometry. With the new Allow Point Creation option turned on, new sketch points are created automatically to anchor newly created holes. Improved for 3D annotations is the ability to change the annotation plane of existing 3D annotation with the new Change Annotation Plane command. Extended part information has also been improved. Now, when you select Display Extended Information After Feature Node Name, you'll see extended information in the sheet metal environment as well as shells, splits, combines, patterns, and surface features. To help you structure your assembly environment, we've rolled out the functionality last seen in the shaft component generator to the remaining design accelerators. In this compression spring example, notice the option to disable subassembly structure in the upper right hand corner of the dialog box. With this option active, no folder or subassembly will be created on disk and the individual component will be inserted directly into your assembly. This gives you more options for structuring your assemblies to best suit your needs. You'll notice the difference immediately when you look at the structure in the browser. We've continued to improve frame generator functionality with your feedback in mind. You now have new controls to mirror frame members, to make sure the new frame member manipulator controls are always easily accessible, you'll notice that they appear on the frame member wherever you select with your mouse. A small but powerful enhancement to the bomb manager is the ability to create virtual components straight from the dialog box, allowing you to create virtual components and fill in their iProperty information in one action. When you have virtual components to add, this will save you lots of picks and clicks. Finally, you'll notice that the order of positional reps can now be adjusted via drag and drop in the model browser. In the drawing environment, you can now access iProperty information of a component directly from the browser context menu. And in the iProperties dialog itself, you'll notice a number of improvements. The columns in the iProperties dialog box custom tab now automatically adjust based on the longest value in each column. The inventor spell checker now checks your spelling in any text field in the iProperties dialog box as you type in multiple custom eye properties can be selected and deleted all at once. Thanks again to all who've taken time to share your suggestions via Inventor Ideas and the Inventor Beta Portal in collaboration with the Inventor team for this Inventor 2020.1 release. We'll keep making Inventor better together.